Well, hey guys, Aven came out with some new mineral sunscreens. Remember I was lamenting the fact that their mineral sunscreen seemed to disappear from their website and they had discontinued it? Well, they relaunched two new mineral sunscreens, a tinted and a non-tinted. I bought them, I'm gonna review them for you guys and I'm also gonna review the High Protection Compact. First of all, let me start out with the Solaire UV Mineral Multi Defense Tinted Sunscreen SPF 50. This particular product is a tinted mineral sunscreen. The only sunscreen active ingredient is zinc oxide. So it's really good if you have sensitive skin, rosacea. Now the tint on this offers some protection against pro-pigmenting wavelengths of visible light through the iron oxides. So it's also a good product for people who suffer with issues of post-inflammatory hyperpigmentation because those iron oxides can offer some protection against that. It's also great if you deal with acne because uh, a lot of times acne will heal with a dark mark and that dark mark is more likely to be uh, stick, stick around longer if you don't have good visible light protection on board. Uh, zinc oxide sunscreens are wonderful for protecting against both UVB rays, the rays that burn, as well as UVA rays, the rays that come through window glass and chew up collagen and whatnot. Now, the inactives in this include niacinamide, which I know a lot of you out there um, are sensitive to niacinamide. You find that it burns, it stings. In my experience using this, that was not the case, but I'm not very sensitive to niacinamide. Niacinamide is a great ingredient for calming down redness, irritation, and it's also a great ingredient for people who deal with hyperpigmentation because it has a skin brightening effect. It can inhibit uh, the formation of post-inflammatory hyperpigmentation. Um, overall, I really enjoyed this product. It does not leave any kind of white cast. I even think that for people with at least medium skin tones, I think that the tint on this will go over well. This product is really moisturizing and I actually really like the tint on it. It's not one of those orangey tinted sunscreens. This sunscreen is actually really moisturizing. I get a lot of comments both here on YouTube as well as over on my Instagram. Can you recommend a mineral sunscreen that's not gonna be drying? These would be a good choice, either the tinted or the non, because they are very moisturizing, but they're not greasy at all. They do leave the skin looking shiny. In the case of the tinted mineral sunscreen though, the tint, I happen to think it ultimately gives the skin a very nice glow. Now, if you have a deeper skin tone, I can't promise that this will not leave your skin with that kind of ashen appearance. But for me, it is, you, you can't tell that I'm wearing a zinc oxide sunscreen. It really is a nice tint in the sense that it camouflages the white flash. I really like the way it looks on the skin. A nice, healthy, luminous glow, not too shiny, although it is a little shiny. Honestly, that's a matter of a personal preference. Some people will say it's too shiny. Some people will say it's just right. Um, but for me, I actually really like it. And I tend to favor sunscreens that are more luminous, dewy, what have you. This is not matte. I would, I would not classify this as matte. It is water resistant, which is wonderful because it provides a little bit of insurance in between reapplications that it won't rub off. And it's also nice because when you apply it around the eyes, it's less likely to settle into the creases because it, it's water resistant. So it's less likely to kind of melt into the crevices with sweating, perspiration. The other thing I like about the sunscreen is that it has good spread. One of the challenges with mineral sunscreens is they can be difficult to spread on the skin and that can actually limit the uh, total coverage. You can get patchy application and not good surface area coverage. This has very nice spread to it um, and it's so it's easy to apply. Uh, overall, I would say this is a winning product from Avant. I actually, in comparison to the older formulation, the older formulation was a lot more on the more on the drying side. It had almost more of a matte powdery feel to it. This is much more moisturizing and it has, it just kind of gives the skin a glowing look. It's actually kind of similar in terms of the way that it looks to the Dermatology um, Universal Tint sunscreen that I also love. But that product is a combination sunscreen. So it has zinc and a chemical filter 
for UVB, whereas this is only zinc oxide. Highly recommend this, it is great. I think it is an improvement from their original formulation and that it is a lot more moisturizing. So if you're somebody who finds that mineral sunscreens, while they, you know, they may be the thing for you, you may actually really like them, uh, but they ultimately end up being too drying, definitely try this. It is a good product, so I really like it. Now, the UV Mineral Multi-Defense uh, non-tinted one, I would say is a pass because the cast on this is pretty noticeable and it is uh, very shiny. In contrast to the tinted one, which was a little shiny but kind of had this dewy, gl luminous glow to it, this is just like that kind of strange white shiny film that most people do not like. Even people who have a paler skin tone will not care for the cast on this. So I don't think it's worth the $32. I mean, it's not a bad cast and frankly, it does kind of fade a little bit for me and that is less noticeable after like 20 or 30 minutes but it is pretty noticeable. If you have a deeper skin tone, be aware. But personally, I mean, these kind of sunscreens, they're not, it's not necessarily that unique. There are a lot of less expensive versions of the same thing. For example, Cetaphil's Sheer Mineral, um, Sheer Mineral Face Liquid Sunscreen. This, SPF 50, just like this, and water resistant. This one's water resistant up to 80 minutes, whereas this is water resistant 40 minutes. This is $11 and this is 32, same cast. Now this one is a lot more moisturizing, but that's what makes it look a little shiny. This one is a little bit more, it is more matte. Um, but I actually prefer the Cetaphil one to the Aven one as far as sunscreens that are not tinted, SPF 50 mineral sunscreens that are not tinted. Both of these, the only sunscreen ingredient is zinc oxide, which is great, perfect ingredient. Um, but I just think this is a better value. Uh, looks similar, if not a little bit better, yet a little bit better in terms of the water resistance factor. So yeah, I would say this is a pass, but of the two, definitely consider the tinted mineral one. That is a good one. I think they did a better job with this. This is not bad at all, like I like it, I will continue to wear it, but I don't think it is worth your $32, especially when the Cetaphil one is only 11 and they're pretty similar. Okay, but let's talk about a great product. I would say of the products I'm reviewing, this is definitely one to consider. Um, I've recommended it in several other videos before, but I actually wanted to get it to show you guys what it looks like on the skin. And that is their tinted, Mineral Compact SPF 50. Um, basically, it's a little sponge. And then you lift it up and you get a mirror and the product. Now, this is a tinted uh, sunscreen in a cream to powder formula. It goes on beautifully onto the skin. And this morning, I put it on for you guys. I'm put the footage on here. I'll put the footage here. Starting out, I started out with the um, with the uh, SPF 50 non-tinted. So you can see that white cast. But then I came on over it with this, and you can see how nicely it just transformed that white cast, camouflaged it. And what I love about this formula is that it goes on. It spreads on the skin really well and it has this cream to powder formulation. So it goes on creamy and it dries a kind of powdery matte. So it gives that actually a nice matte finish, but it's not cloyingly dry. You know, a lot of makeup powders, they settle into creases. People with mature skin don't tend to care for them. Um, and you know, things that are more powdery. This looks beautiful, but not greasy or shiny. If you have oily skin, this is gonna be a good one to consider. It won't dry you out, um, but it won't leave you looking like an oil slick. And it's fantastic for camouflaging, not only the white cast, but the shininess. You know, a lot of sunscreens, they are very shiny. This kind of helps to mattify that shine. And it's a very good sunscreen in a, in a compact form. Now, with a product like this, you may wonder, can I just use this? You have to be careful. It's challenging to know how well this is going to get all surface areas in terms of skip areas. 
I have pretty good faith in this though, because this particular product was used in a study looking at, you know, looking at the role of iron oxides basically in uh, melasma. And this was used um, in that study um, and showed uh, benefit to the melasma when using this. And I believe this was the only thing that they used. So it does actually give really good surface area coverage for a product like this. I still think it's better to put on a base layer of sunscreen just to be safe. Uh, but if you wanted to use this to touch up sunscreen throughout the day to reapply, I actually think this is a really good option, especially for those of you who wear makeup. You may find that this particular product is kind of a nice alternative to um, to having a makeup compact because it gives you really pretty good coverage actually and it gives a very nice finish on the skin and you're getting really good sun protection from this and you're also getting really good protection against those pro pigmenting wavelengths of visible light because of the iron oxides um, so i really think that of the three this is their winning product it is amazing the compact is also water resistant, if I didn't say that already, 40 minutes. Now the compact is in the shade Dark Honey. This works really well for medium skin tones. I wish that they would come out with more shades, um, deeper shades for sure. And I think I know that the deeper shades that they could come out with would actually probably offer even more uh, visible light protection because deeper shades come about with more pigment added uh, to the cosmetic and the higher concentration of pigments from iron oxides is going to offer you even better protection against those pro pigmenting wavelengths of visible light which people with deeper skin tones that's really what they need so i hope that Avan will um, come out with more shades of this that would be wonderful this is a great product i love the formulation i love the cream to matte finish so I hope this video was helpful to you guys who are considering the Aven sunscreens. You wanted to see what they look like, hear about them. Um, I think they're good, but they are a little on the pricey side. Comment below and if you have tried them. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and as always, don't forget, sunscreen and subscribe. I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Bye.